Well, folks, this is our one-barrel displacement pump. Most of our airlifts use air bubbles to lift water, but sometimes you need to move water sideways immediately, and you need a steady flow of water without bubbles or burping, such as feeding nursery spares would be a good example. Here is a displacement pump that we designed. At aquaponics, it's all about water, and water is what we use up and down over and over. So when we move into aquaponics, we have a fish tank on the right. Notice we have this one up on three high on center blocks. Those are 8 by 8 by 16 center blocks holding up a fish tank. And that's so that we can get a gravity feed from it to the 55-gallon barrel on the lower left. You'll see also we have an air compressor. And if the air compressor turns on, going green there, you see the green coming across. And it hits that solenoid valve. That closed at the same time as the pump turned on. Now the 55-gallon barrel is heading down, the air is coming in, and it's pushing the water up, over, and around into the fish tank and fill up the fish tank, okay? Now in real life, you wouldn't just be going in a circle from the fish tank back to the fish tank. The water that was going up there on your right, that would be going to a biofilter, a swirl filter, a float beds, biocender beds, whatever else, wherever you needed the water to go. But this water can go 15 or more feet higher than the fish tank is. Now, once you fill up your fish tank, the 55-gallon barrel is empty, okay? Or you're down to a lower, like 10 or 15% left. We want to stop that 55-gallon barrel before it gets to the bottom pipe, okay? To do that, that electrical solenoid there, that's on a timer called a cycle timer. It's like three minutes on, three minutes off. So, watch the electric solenoid. If it turns green, it will open up, let the air exhaust out. Then the air in the barrel will go up, and it will exhaust out, and that will open up the swing check valve on the fish tank, and the water rushes into the 55-gallon barrel and fills it up in all oh, about two minutes on the average, okay? Now, once it's there, you've timed it. And it will now close the solenoid valve. The air compressor now will send air into the system. Again, repeating the cycle, the compressed air into a 55-gallon barrel, and going back to the fish tank. And a round robin we go. Yeah. So you can do this, and you can run it through the cycles, and you can watch it happen. Watch what valves open up. Like the swing check valve opens up only when there's no compressorized air in the 55-gallon barrel. You know, as soon as that air compressor go, pre goes and starts pressurizing the 55-gallon barrel, that will close that swing check valve, the red one on the bottom of the fish tank. Okay? Now, there's a second swing check valve over to your right. That one holds the water up. It's just a gravity-type thing. It's just a flapper one, no springs in it. When the water got pumped up, it opened up. And then once it's up there and it stops, it closes, and that keeps the water from coming down. Really important if you are pumping this water up 20, 25 feet, you wouldn't want it to come right back down every time you opened up you know, or stopped the power. So the biggest advantage of the displacement pump is that it's silent, and it gives you one gallon of water output for every gallon of air compressed into the drum. The water can be pumped sideways at any angle. Hook up a garden hose, whatever you want to do. You can drag it around because you don't have any air bubbles going through this thing. It's just a continuous stream of water. The only sound is the air escaping when the solenoid releases air at the fill the drum cycle, and that can be muffled and not a problem. The only other noise is your air pumps actually running. We use Hakko and Metellas. They're very quiet. The only moving parts in this system are the electric solenoid and the one-way check valve. And if you're curious, those electrical solenoids as little as $12 a piece, $12 to $30. The check valves depend on the quality that you buy. They normally run about $20 a piece. That's about it, folks. If you got want some more information, please visit our websites at olamonicgardens.com or olamonicgardensaquaponics.com. That's mostly videos. Anyway, my name is Glenn Martinez, and I hope this was educational for you.